Greetings, my brothers and sisters. I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for his goodness, his kindness, and his tender mercy. And for another Wednesday, thank him for who he is and what he means. He's our everything. He's our all in all. Tonight we're going to look at Revelation chapter 14, uh, verses 15 and 16. Revelation chapter 14, verses 15 and 16. Let's pray. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you for your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have stored upon us. And even what you have to do, we thank you. Be it everything be done and said tonight that will bring you honor and bring you glory. Have your way tonight that we be blessed, God. And we will learn together. As we learn together, we will grow together. These blessings we ask in Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. Amen. Again, Revelation chapter 14, verses 15 and 16. I read from the King James Version. And it reads as follows. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. Thrust in thy sickle and reap for the time is come for thee to reap. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust his sickle on the earth, and the earth was ripe. This is good. Let's go dig. Let's look at. I'm going to get this well. He said, and another angel. Now, if you notice previously, there were two other angels. This is the third one. He said, and another angel came out of the temple. Out of the temple. I'm going to ask a question in a moment. Well, I'll, I'll, answer, I'll just keep going. Uh, out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, thrust in thy sickle and reap. For the time is come for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is Right. It looked like a, it, this is here like an ag agriculture thing. This third angel, this is where he came from. He came out of the temple. The, I am going to ask a question. When he talks about he came out of the temple, anybody know what he means when he says come out, came out of the temple? Anybody know what he means? He said, and he, he came he came out of the temple. What does the temple mean? Anybody know? Well, he came out of heaven. He came out of heaven. But this word temple has a different meaning uh, other than temple. <laughs> and first of all, we're going further. This angel appeared just like the other angels. Just like the same thing. He appeared like the other angels. You want me to tell you? Okay, good. <laughs> this means this one came out of the sanctuary of heaven. He came out of the sanctuary. I like this because it does not describe the other two where they came from. The third one, because they always, they always say this angel appeared. Another period. But this one said, at a period, this angel came out of the temple, out of the sanctuary of heaven. I'm going to go deeper in a moment. Out of the sanctuary. He said, he cried with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud. The him that sat on the cloud was who? Yes, the Son of Man. He sat on the cloud. <laughs> He's crying out. Listen, He's crying out to the one who sits on the cloud. But watch this. He cries out loud enough that even the uh, those on earth heard him. But he was not talking to them. He was talking to the one who sat on the cloud, which was Christ. It was so loud. That everybody else can hear besides the one he's talking to. And I believe he wanted them to hear it 
to the point to where they would see the message that is conveying to the Son of God. <laughs> I like this. He's conveying all this to them. <laughs> I, I, I got to say it again. He's crying out loud enough for everyone on earth to hear him. But he's only talking to the Son of Man or the one who sits on the cloud. Wow. Watch this. This indicates he was an emissary representing, watch this, this angel, representing the holiness of heaven, holy of holies. The holiness and the righteousness of God himself. He's a representation of God himself. Catch this. He's coming out of the temple. He came out of the temple. He came out of the sanctuary of heaven. He's a better representative of the others who came. They conveyed a message. But he's, he, this one conveyed a message from where he came from. He comes out of the sanctuary of heaven and out of the holy of holies. He's representing the holiness of God and the righteousness of God. Wow. <laughs> he cries with a loud voice. Again, I, I'm going to repeat it. Loud enough for people on earth to hear. <laughs> but he's addressing the Son of Man. The one like the Son of Man must send out his sickness right here. He says, thrust in your sickle and reap and reap. Those who he sends sickle out to are going to receive what's his their reward. Whether it was good or bad, they're going to receive really more so bad because we talked about last week that sickle is the cut. And cut is like using a, 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 a vernacular of, a, a, of an agricultural term, reap. You gather in the harvest. But this is a, not of a harvest of those who are good. Those who have did not hear the word of the Lord. And now they're about to pay for the, pay the consequences for them not obeying and hearing what was told them before. We, we talked about it weeks past that God is a merciful God. He is merciful. He's loving. He's all that. And I'm going to talk about it in a minute. He's all that. But also he does, we talked about it last week, he will pass judgment. In all his mercy, and all his kindness, he will pass judgment. <laughs> oh, that's simple, that's simple. For the time is come for thee or you to reap. He's, talk, he's talking to the Son of Man. The angel is talking to Jesus. Now it's time. <laughs> the time has come for you to reap. For the harvest of the earth is ripe. <laughs> ripe. Wow. It's ripe. Meaning it's time. It's time for you to pass judgment on the earth. Because we talked about it last week, he is going to be the one to judge. But I found something else here. I'll tell y'all later on. He's not only going to be the judge. He's going to have some other people help him. I got the cuckoo. <laughs> Let's go further. The one like the Son of Man must send out his sickle and reap. Watch this. And there can be no delay. Or there can be no more delay. He has allowed time enough yes. for people to get themselves together. He's allowed time enough for you to get right. But now the delay is over. It's time for judgment. Wow. 
The harvest of the earth is not merely ripe. It has literally dried up and withered away. Meaning that they are spiritually dead. They have no spiritual life and they're dead. But go back to John chapter 15. Talked about the divine dresser, the Lord, who is the one who prunes. And if there's no production, he cuts them off. Cuts them off. He don't prune, he cuts them off. And this is what's going on right here. They withered and dried up. So this is not a harvest. Watch it. This is not harvest of a good fruit. Let's make it clear. This is not harvest of a good fruit. <laughs> it is rather like a cutting off of dried up branches that have no life in them. The people it affects are spiritually dead. Those that this affects are spiritually dead. They have no, they, they have been deceived by the Antichrist. By all his, if I go back previous chapters, by all his miracles that he performs and does, but not Christ. But he professed he is Christ, but he's not Christ. And so they went with what all the miracles he'd done, all the things they see him do, and they start believing him and following him, and they lost out on heaven. I'm going to say this. Be careful who you listen to. Be careful who you listen to. I'm going to say it like this. Who you been talking to? Listen to this. They are ripe for this harvest of judgment that will come at the end of the tribulation. At the end of the tribulation. Are there any questions? Before you do that, let me use that word reap means to obtain as reward of actions. You're going to retain or obtain a reward of your actions. Whatever you've done, whatever you're doing, you're going to be rewarded for what you do. I'm going to make that clear. Reward, rewarded for what you do. Yes. <laughs> of our actions. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And why is the Son of Man saying he's doing that for the people to know? Because I'm thinking the Son of Man, he gave him the command, mm -hmm. they already done talked. Mm -hmm. And he know this, so he's doing with the loud voice for others to know what time it is. What time it is. Can I use this, this, this vernacular? Mm -hmm. This is what time of day it is. Mm -hmm. You had your chance, you had your time. And you're going to hear what's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody else? And the other one, going back to um, the scripture that was read, I think, a couple Sundays ago, when they said they was going to cut them off. I'm just sitting here really thinking how the Bible is written and how God is fulfilling his word mm -hmm. from Jeremiah, as he looked at the written scripture, mm -hmm. to John 15. Mm -hmm. He's purging, but he's purging now only to judge of those that did do. They did do. Did do. Did do. Purge. Cut them off. Clean the whole world of that, I'm going to say, wrong doing. Yeah. Let me read this. They are right. They are good for this harvest of judgment. They are right, they are good for this harvest of judgment that will come at the end of the tribulation. They are right, they are, they are good for the judgment. They get out of here. Anybody else on 15? All right, let's go to 16. He says this in 16. And he sat on the cloud the word thrust again, thrust in his sickle on the earth. And the earth reaped. The earth reaped. Now that the 
the time for judgment has come. The Son of Man said it on the cloud, watch this, does not hesitate. I just read in 15, he does not delay. 16 says he does not hesitate. There will be no delay. There will be no hesitation. He's going right in. Can I just use this, this, this term? He's going in for the kill. I delayed long enough. I hesitated long enough. I allowed you time. I allowed you space to get yourself together. But now you have not adhered to the warnings, the mercy, the compassion of God. And now I'm thrusting the sickle. Watch this. With one decisive move, the sickle will reap the earth. One decisive move, he will reap the earth. This does not mean that he <coughs> will do it all himself. Here's one more Jesus. I need somebody to read. Somebody get Matthew 25, 41. Does not mean he'll do it himself. Other passages show that he will use angels for at least part of the work of judgment. Who has Matthew 25, 41? If you haven't read it, please. And he will also On the left, on the left, depart from me. In other words, you had your chance. You had your time. Depart from me. You going to the place where it's prepared. This is, that is prepared for the devil. It wasn't, it's not prepared for you. But because you operate in negligence, it's now going to be for you as well. You're going to reap. What? You so. Yeah. <laughs> Too many have pictured, listen to this, here's what I'm talking about, I'm, I'm talking about it earlier. They picture Jesus as meek and low, which he is. Mm -hmm. Kind, which he is. Yes. Merciful, which he is. But watch this. <laughs> Too many have pictured Jesus only as meek mild and gentle. He is indeed full, filled with love. And as the good shepherd, he is gentle. But he is not, he's not weak. He's meek. He's gentle, but he's not weak. I want you to say this. Don't take my, my kindness from weakness. He is tender. And he's also long-suffering. But when the time comes, he will not fail. Here it is. He will, when time comes, he will not fail <laughs> to bring the judgments of a holy God. The harvest of the earth will be reaped. And when he puts in the sickle. Listen to this. When he puts in the, the sickle, it will be too late to repent. When he puts in the sickle, it will be too late to repent. Picture this. It's coming, and then people are trying to repent. It's too late to repent. You have all that time to repent. And now you see the sickle swine. And then you want to repent. You should repent before the sickle swung. And now it's too late. And when he starts swinging, there is no repentance. None at all. Anybody on 16? Go ahead.
He shows he did. Yes. yes, I am long suffering. Yes. But when it's time to do what I got to do, mm -hmm. I will do that without any delay and without any hesitation. Amen. I'm going to pass the judgment mm -hmm. on those who did not adhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. I just want to say one other thing. I was thinking about the word for us too. Mm -hmm. And I think too, that's why it's going to be so quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, Exactly what God said to do. And they got to acting up, cutting up in the wilderness. And God called them stiff necked. Which means they were stubborn. Watch this, they did not want to change. When you don't want to change, you on, you trade on dangerous ground. Trade on real dangerous ground. You, you do not want to change and you, you want to stay the way you are, how you are, and all that. You trade on dangerous ground because those persons who were stiff-necked and stubborn died in the wilderness. They did not make it to what was promised to them. Catch this, y'all. And I'm going to close. They did not receive what was promised to them. Because of their negligence, their disobedience, want to do what they want to do, and how they want to do it, what was promised to them, they did not receive. And I'm going to go back and I said some time ago that the, the, the next generation yes. got the blessing that they're supposed to get. Mm -hmm. They got the blessing, the next generation, that the ones who were originally, originally supposed to receive it did not get because of their stubbornness, their rebelliousness, and their disobedience. And they died in the wilderness. Can I do this way? They died when they started that. They died where they started at. They did not finish with the promise. They died without the promise in the place where they started from. Wow. Anybody else? I'm done. I'm done. Short, but good. Are there any prayer requests? Okay. You still get the shots? Yeah, but 
they're spaced out further. But I've just been having a little bit of trouble, so they've been getting better. Okay. Any others? Yes, ma'am. Walter's wife. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Gotcha. Anyone else? All right. Let's go into prayer. Most gracious and all wise Father, thank you for your goodness, your kindness, and your tender mercy. And all of your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have stored upon we, your people. We thank you for your word. Help us do as the psalmist said, thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against you. That I pray that you'll make us better through and by your word. Have us be recipients of your word. Have us, God, to apply your word within our everyday walk of life, that we will be the people you're calling for in this last annual day. I pray, God, I come to you requesting the ball before us. Will you bless the Lisa, touch her eyes, touch her vision, strengthen her vision in the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. God, I pray you bless Brother Walter Pinkston's wife. Touch her body with your mighty hand of healing. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch in the name of Jesus. God, I pray God you bless the Ward's father-in-law. Touch it by your mighty hand of healing as well, God. Touch it from the top of his head to the soul of feet, God. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. Touch him in the name of Jesus. Bless all the sick, name by name and one by one. We speak healing and health to their bodies. Bless those that are going through, lift the burden and lift the load. In the name of Jesus. God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you just bless. Upcoming services on Sunday, be and everything be done and said. That will bring you honor and bring you glory. Have your way on Sunday. That we be blessed, we be strengthened, and we will draw nigh unto you. We pray in one mind, one spirit, and one accord in worship. Go up and out of the aisle of the pew and touch hearts, touch minds, touch lives under the anointing, God. We need your anointing in the place. Because of the anointing, yokes shall be destroyed. Destroy every yoke. Put out of his stronghold, God. And bless in the name of Jesus, we pray. And we do thank you. Amen and amen. Lord bless you. Just be before you get off.